Hi, this is Tom from Infinity Bricks and we have another Marvel Lego reveal with the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 sets. We've had revealed the Milano vs the Abelisk, we've had Ayesha's Revenge and we also have Ravager's Attack. Now that all three of these sets come with a great host of characters, I'm really keen to get Yondu and Baby Groot, those ones in particular are figures that stand out for me. Um, but what is a bit of a surprise is that we do have another Milano. Now it is quite a bit different to the previous one and the previous uh, Milano was actually one of my favourite Marvel sets to date so it's interesting to have another one because it's made me compare it and think about what it is I liked about the old one and also what I might improve. Now I'm really interested in how these characters are going to fit into the film. I don't know anything about them, I haven't read up anything about them at all and um, it's very interesting that Yondu is now playing a bigger role to the point that we actually do have a figure for him. I did feel he was missing from the previous film. There was a couple of other characters I thought actually we really should have had. Um, in particular, we should have had a Thanos, which was based on the movie. Uh, we do have one which is a comic book version, which I think is okay. But as far as a movie version of the character, I think he doesn't really stack up. He just doesn't have the right level of detail for it. I really do like the fact that they have done a few changes to some of the other characters like Nebula. Um, she had the wrong color head. Her head was darker blue and then she had a lighter blue face but actually in the film she actually has a lighter blue head and a darker face so it's interesting that they swap that round a little bit also what was interesting is that we do have another mold now for star lord's hair i think this works so much better it's a much more of an improved hairstyle the old one just seemed a little bit plain so to have a bit more detail there i think is great and having Baby Groot, which is amazing. It's great to have that little figure, which is uh, really gonna be iconic, I'm sure, to the film. Now, in the previous sets, I did feel Groot was a little bit under-detailed. He is a bit of a simple build, and I felt that actually a few more things needed to be added to him just to kind of, kind of fill him a little bit and make him look a little bit more like he does in the film. Unfortunately, with the use of stickers and things like that, I just felt it was a little bit weak. I mean, I do like the character and I'm pleased I've got him, And um, but he is one that I've always thought, actually, there's always been a little bit of room for improvement. As far as all the other characters are concerned, I've always liked them. You know, Star-Lord I've always thought was great. It's great to have the new hair, as I say, um, but generally speaking, I've always liked those figures. So what is the main thing that I'm gonna sort of um, point to in this? Well, obviously the main thing to talk about is the Milano. Now, many people who weren't able to get the old one suddenly have another chance to get one, and that's fantastic. It's gonna be reasonably priced, and um, you know, here in the UK, I believe it's gonna be around 45 pounds, which is pretty fair. So, you know, it's interesting. Um, but the main differences are, obviously, is its size. It is significantly smaller. Now, with the previous um, Milano, you had the ability to take off the roof and there was quite a little, quite a large space inside where you could put a lot of the characters. You've got plenty of seats. You also have even a little stereo in there and a lot of detail around the cockpit. Now, it's hard to see with this set, but it seems to be that you only have the cockpit area and you haven't got the back area that you had in the previous set just by looking at the build itself. So that is unfortunate. Um, it does make me think that I wish they made a bigger version. Now what they have done um, that I do like is the fact that they actually have put the right style of windshield on there because the previous um, windshield or the previous screen, it was blue and it isn't blue in the film at all. And um, actually they got it right and they designed it right. And I really like it. It is small. Um, obviously it wouldn't fit on the scale of the previous Milano, but it does look really good. Now also the color as well. Now I always felt that that lighter orange color didn't quite match what was in the film. Now if you do watch the film, you get a glimpse of the Milano, you see the orange is a lot darker, so it's good that they've actually done that. And the front as well, that section, there was a bit of an overlap on it, which just bugs me a little bit. It wasn't like terrible, but it just kind of bugged me. And it seems that they've nailed that now with some new pieces that have been released in the last year. So overall, I think from a visual point of view, if you sort of stand back and look at that, I think it really does look great. It does look like the Milano and it's a great representation, but from a sort of size and scale point of view and also probably from a playability point of view, it seems to be yeah, quite a little bit smaller. And also the other thing that it's missing is it did have, the old one did have these like Technic panels on the back. Even though they had stickers on, they were actually very effective. So we've lost those and we just have the kind of flat plates. Now I do like it because it's 
all made with proper flat plate Lego and not the Technic stuff. I mean, there's probably some Technic pieces underneath, but generally the outside look of it is, you know, all kind of standard Lego. So I do like that. Um, and I do like the fact that we do have the Milano sticker on there, but it really is a different scale. It's actually made me think it would be interesting to see what would happen if you take some of the parts and elements from this set and add it to the other Milano and see what you can come up with. So that's kind of buzzing through my head at the moment and maybe that's something that I'll do. The figures are all good from what I'm seeing. Obviously Yondu and Baby Groot stand out significantly. Uh, Ayesha looks quite interesting. Don't know anything about her character. The other sets look good as well. So yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for any future content. Speak to you again soon.